Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. I'm back once again at Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Let's get talking about the new comic books that are coming out. We got Symbiote of Vengeance, issue number one. Not sure if this is a one shot or three shot. We'll find out by the time we get to the end of it, right? But looks pretty good. Weird looking cover. We'll talk about that in the review. We got Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool, issue number two of three. We've got Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 29. We've got Dude, we're, we're on a roll again. Aftershock Comics, Baby Teeth, issue number 16. We've got Beware the Witch's Shadow, issue number one. It's, it's a number one. I just wanted to point it out. It exists. Uh, American Mythology Productions. They did some of those Zorro comic books that we all love, so there's that. City of Bane continues with Batman, issue number 78. You either love it or you hate it. Very few pe people neutral on this. We've got Batman and the Outsiders, issue number five. That's going to at least to number eight. Talk to Brian Edward Hill myself. Issue number four of, I think, six, maybe eight, whatever. They, they keep on changing what they're going to do for Black Cat. Uh, but this definitely starts a new arc. We've got issue number 10 of Captain Marvel. This is the one where they're suggesting that it's going to start going where she starts turning a little bit evil. Uh-oh. Kelly Thompson all over this. Um, Black Cat, issue number 15. I just really wanted to show off that variant cover, that Michelle Pfeiffer looking variant cover. We've got Chainsaw Reindeer, one shot. We've got a lot of people looking for that one. We got Dynamite Comics, Chastity, issue number one. We've got Daredevil, issue number 11. I believe that all, all new, yep, through hell. A brand new story arc starts here. Um, and I will be showing off the, um, uh, the wraparound cover variant for this one, the Immortal wraparound. So that's one of the wraparounds this week. We've got The Dark Age, issue number two. Bunch of us waiting on pins and needles for the next one. Uh, Batman, Detective Comics, issue number 1011. 1011. Issue number 19 of Doctor Strange. This is the variant cover. You can look for the regular cover. We've got Event Leviathan, issue number four of six. We've got The Flash, issue number 78. We've got Gwenpool Strikes Back, issue number two of, I believe, five. Leah Thompson, if I remember correctly. Uh, Gotham City Monsters. This is a one-shot featuring six different uh, monstrous-type characters in Gotham City, all one quest that they're going on. The Prodigal Son, part three. This is a, uh, technically a one-shot for Guardians of the Galaxy, but this is the third and final part of The Prodigal Son. Hawkman, issue number 16, one of my favorite comics out right now, and a gorgeous in -Hyuk Lee variant. We've got uh, Isolde, issue number 9 from Image. I'm not reading them, just pointing out that it exists. Uh, issue number 10 of Ironheart, Riri Williams. Invaders, issue number 9. People falling in love with this comic book every single issue, and there's really good reason why. Chip Zardowski, baby. Invisible Woman, issue number three of five. This is three, yep, this is three. Justice League Odyssey, issue 13. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you're a Green Lantern fan, you are, of course, going to have to find out what happens in this issue. And, of course, these variant covers, one of the reasons why people keep buying it, whether they like the comic or not. King Thor, issue number one of four, the final part of Jason Aaron's run on Thor. Also, an immortal variant. We've got Loki issue three. Guys, there's a couple comics that I'm pointing out that I'm not actually reviewing because I got way too many comics to review and I'm trying to cut back. So um, that's one of them that's, that's falling by the wayside. Sorry, issue two didn't do it for me. Okay, please excuse the technical difficulty there. We're continuing. So we got Miles Morales Spider-Man, issue number 10. This is supposed to be a big one. First appearance of a new character called Ultimatum. Also a little surprise in the back. Plus a surprise on the variant cover. Oh look, another one of the wraparounds. Hey, look at this. Issue, well, annual number one, 2019 for Moon Knight, even though the comic book doesn't exist right now. But this is cool because it's Moon Knight and they're doing a wraparound cover. Wouldn't it make zero sense if they didn't do a wraparound cover? <laughs> so we're looking to the guy who found me the wraparound cover off <laughs> off camera so the Orville number three not reviewing this comic book but uh, the Orville apparently big deal with this um, uh, apparently they're transferring from one network to another the TV show so they're putting out this as kind of a complacence to huge, the, all the huge fans of the comic uh, of the uh, TV show so that there's still some Orville stories going around and they're brand new th uh, stories as uh, what do you call it? Not recycled stories or anything like that. So 
boom, that's actually pretty cool of them. Let's talk about uh, Pan America, Pandeme Pandemenica. Okay, this one, issue number one. Anyway, this is a pretty big one. I hope I'll get time to review it. Of all the indies, that's actually one I'm most likely uh, to try and uh, do, but anyway. And Powers of Ten, issue number four. Look guys, make sure you go and check out Twitter, vote on which comic book you want me to do first. This one for the past, what, eight weeks has been the one that, every, well the past seven weeks is the one that everybody's been saying, make sure you do this one first. That'll be my midnight review. All the other reviews start at three o'clock in the a.m. But if you want me to continue the tradition of doing this one first with spoilers, well then you gotta vote on Twitter. I'm telling you, it almost lost last time to Immortal Hulk. Okay, so anyway, uh, Powers of Ten is out. Uh, issue number two of the Punisher Kill Crew. This is a mini-series, limited series. Uh, the Riddler, Year of the Villain, The Riddler. This actually looks pretty fun. Mark Russell, who does the Wonder Twins, that's also out this week. I'll get to that in a minute. Silver Surfer Black, issue number four. This has been one of those surprise books every time. Will this book do the same? Swordmaster, issue number three, an awesome book with two different stories in it. One of them by one of my absolute favorite artists that uh, currently drawing in comics. Uh, not going to be doing this because I didn't do the first volume, but Trees, the, um, the Three Fates by Warren Ellis. Yeah, sorry guys, not going to be doing it, Jason Howard, not going to be doing it because I, I never read the original Trees story. We've got uh, Venom, issue number 18, part of Absolute Carnage. And why would they not do a variant uh, with the immortal wraparound for this? So, uh, just saying. And uh, Wonder Twins, issue number 7. This was supposed to be a six-issue limited series. They bumped it up to 12 because of the success of the comic. I agree. We've got Wonder Woman, issue number 78. This is where I started talking about issue number 77. was supposed to have this uh, very cover on it, but they bumped it up because apparently this is going to happen in this issue. So, Jenny Frisson, guys, we're in love with her, right? Issue number eight of Young Justice. I uh, I think I'm dropping this one. I'm not entirely sure. I'll probably take a quick flip through it before I leave the comic book store. I'm probably dropping it. I got to drop some books, guys. Sorry. Okay, now let's talk about some of the other stuff really quick. We got the dollar comics from DC, Batman Hush. We've got True Believers, Immortal, or Incredible Hulk. Uh, this is uh, the one where you start off his nightmare that eventually turns him into um, the Grey Hulk, the Peter David run on Grey Hulk. Uh, it's a true believer, so it's only one dollar. There's another one out there also, and I don't. Uh, what do you, I think that Diamond might have screwed us over on it because I can't find it anywhere. We can't find it anywhere, but just letting you know, there is another one out there somewhere. And then there's Marvel Tales this month, the uh, Black Panther, or at least this week. And this one is going to have these stories on it. There's going to be the, I guess this is supposed to be the first appearance of Black Panther. Oh wait, this is in Avengers, not in Fantastic Four. Okay, so there's the Long Live the King, which was out. There's a first appearance of uh, Venom. That's not the, um, the symbiote Venom. There's a, a, a prior guy named Venom. And that was in this same run here, where there's the first appearance of Njakata or... Uh, Killmonger, Eric Killmonger, and this is just his appearance in the Avengers. He had an appearance before that, I believe, with Captain America, and of course his first appearance was in Fantastic Four, which apparently that's not going to be in here also. So weird for a $10 book talking about, hey, you know, all the cool stuff with uh, Black Panther, but whatever, who am I to judge? I don't make the comics, I just read them. Anyway, guys, you probably want to see the sweep, right? All right, guys, let's talk about the collectibles that are out. We got more. We got restock because, let's face it, can't keep enough of these in stock. We got some Star Trek over here, the Discovery. So I don't know if that's like some kind of solar-powered sail barge that, I don't know, Captain Kirk is going to be thrown off or something. I don't know. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. So we got the runabout here. This is a cool one. We've got Braun Strowman, the monster among men. We've got the... Uh, all these got Thunderbirds. We got a whole bunch of pops that are coming in. The Rick and Mortys up in here. We got uh, what's this guy here? We got uh, more Thunderbolt people, more Rick and Mortys. Okay, we've got this gigantic size it figure because you know what? Sometimes when your kid is not good at night, this is what you got to give him to go to sleep with, and that'll teach him a lesson. So we got a whole bunch of these. you guys. Remember these? Yeah, and it's like really hard to get your hands on them. Well, guess what? You can come right here, Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles, and you can get. Uh, all these characters and you could build connect and collect Lobo. Yeah, you're welcome. We've got this Captain America I think this is just a bust. I tried opening it up and whatnot, but we don't have any 
out for now. It's going to be a while till I get there. The art effects. Uh, we got that. We've also got the cowl. I know everybody's seen the cowl. And this is very specifically the cowl for the Dark Knight Returns. So awesome and awesome. Uh, what is this? Catwoman Returns. This looks kind of cool. <laughs> You're seeing it the second that I'm seeing it. Catwoman Returns. This is some kind of a... Oh, the Kobu Yaka. Oh, here we go. Right over here. That's not bad. That's a pretty cool looking face. Look at that. And this is what it's actually going to look like. There you go. How you doing? We got the Batman, black labeled Batman. Okay, cool. We got these uh, Hermione Granger figures here, which is kind of cool. We've got, what's over here? We got some, uh, oh, these are pretty nice looking. I really like that Wonder Woman. Like that is really nice looking. Let's see what they look like on the back here. Oh, okay. So you got a Superman, not too bad. They got the Wonder Woman, looks amazing. Yes, she's got her lasso. Hate when they don't include that. You got the Bioshock characters here, Elizabeth. You got more of that, more of that. Oh, what's this? We got some Flash hiding up in here. Grant Gustin. We've got, we've always got new Dragon Ball Z stuff. So we got the models over here. You wanna, you wanna see him throwing a Kamehameha? There you go. And we've got the 112th Joker. This is a pretty good one, the Crown, Crown Prince of Crime. And it is, of course, this version of the Joker right here. He comes with a bunch of shots to shoot him up. He's got this uh, this staff walking cane. He's got a little, what is that, a Tech Nine? That's a Super Tech Nine, if anything. Big banana clip. Twin uh, Kakuri blades. He's got a little stuffed animal with dynamite strapped across it. That's great. Uh, boom, the stands, a bunch of different hands and a different face to use, and yeah, there you go. Okay, and I think that's just about it. No, wait, hold a second. We've got superpowers. Superpowers Batman. So look at this. How you doing? How you doing? Let's see what else we got coming up soon, if not already. Nice, Adonna Troy. That's looking pretty good. Bunch of the old school stuff, and that's going to be about it. Be right back. And that's going to be a wrap for this week in comics right here in Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Guys, this coming every, I believe it's every Thursday, am I wrong? There's going to be a Dragon Ball Z tournament, a Dragon Ball tournament for the uh, card game. Anyway, whether it's Thursday or not, it's going to be a weekly thing and you make sure you check out all these contents, uh, these um, contact points that I'm pointing to here. Don't make me put them up for nothing because that's where we're going to have all these tournaments and all the other information that you need to see about Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles which is right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. Don't forget to vote on Twitter. The uh, Check out which comic book you want me to review first. I don't care what it is. Just do the votes. I follow that one. After that, the midnight review and then all the other reviews at 3 o'clock. Uh, don't forget to check out CBU Toys where I review a bunch of toys. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to check out the, uh, the, the Season 3, finally putting it up, of the, uh, the Marvel Super Heroes Advanced Role Playing Game System. Where this season we're good. After that, we're going to have a bunch of comic creators that are going to be jumping in also to play the game. It's just going to get uh, that much better from this point on. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University, right here in Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Class dismissed.